is where we are. The uh, totally the time lapse will show you exactly what we've been doing. But you can see here where obviously the exhaust pipe you've already seen in the previous video comes at the bottom of the turbo and that. It then uh, obviously exits out the side here. Well, I've just made this bit of pipe up to extend for the stack that's there. That's one I've got to make yet. Yeah, hopefully I will uh, get around to showing you how I make it. It's not hard. And it's a lot cheaper than trying to buy a stack hole because stacks a stupid amount of money for what they are, really. And also stacks have a lot more going on to them than they should, really. But anyway, yeah, we'll show you that in a second. Yeah, so I'm about to... Yeah, I think I'll be putting the 90 degree off of here, which will then come this way. And then hopefully I'll have jack stands or something to hold the exhaust up and then I'll be able to make some brackets that go hopefully to the chassis but it may end up being to the body instead. We'll see where I can mount first. Um, yeah, because either I can mount it to the chassis under there somehow. I've got enough uh, flat bar to do that. But if that don't work, I can always drill and bolt it or even in the back of the sill somewhere. But we'll work that out when we get there. Just like when uh, I had to work out that bit of the sill, which is now... You know, sort it out. Anyway, hopefully I'll take you along the way. And uh, yeah, the next thing you'll see is probably me showing you how to build the stack. Yeah, I'll quickly, you know, I will show you now. All right, not difficult. Uh, you need to get yourself some, this is four inch perforated pipe, as you can see. Obviously nothing in there. Just some nice perforated pipe. Um, then on eBay, I need to, I'll, I'll see if I can find the name of these and I'll even put a link in the description of where these are on eBay because I did find them and it's four inch on the outside and then I think two and a half on the inside and they go in like that exactly as you can see there just gets wedged in and all you got to do is run a bead of weld around there and then uh, there you go you can see that's literally all it is just wedged in there you run your bit of pipe down the center and it holds perfectly in the middle there's not really much to go wrong I'll put the pipe in through first and I'll be welding this 90 on afterwards Actually, it might be worth making the stack now. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, so I've welded the majority of the stack up. You can see inside the holes. You can't really. <laughs> I'm trying to show you, but it, it, it reflects. But inside is another bit of pipe. Actually, hang on. There you go. So the bit of pipe does now go through there. It's all welded up. Bar that seam there, but I need to put a tip on. But, uh, yeah. So that's built, ready to go. Um, just needs welding onto there, and then I've got to make some mounts up. I think I'm going to use that box section, and then weld it to the outside of the exhaust, and weld it to, well not weld it to, sorry, bolt it to the chassis. I'll make some brackets and then bolt to it. Yeah. But I uh, thought I'd better just quickly make a clip, and if anyone wants to do this, like I said, I'll put a, I'll put in it, I'll put a list here showing you the things you need to buy. Yeah, one thing I just, just need to make sure you watch out for is when you weld this on, make sure you weld it so the seam of the pipe is on the back side because I didn't do that the first time and if I can get under there to show you, try and get under there, somewhere there, you'll see hopefully the seam for the pipe. I can't see right now, if not I'll have a picture up of that seam. Actually, hang on, even better I can just do this. So obviously perforate, perforate, perforated seam. And like an idiot, I welded the seam so people could see it. So I had to cut that back off and re-weld it. But no, it's now looking pretty good. I just gotta, yeah, make some mounts up. That's the hardest bit now. I might just tack weld the pipe on, just so it holds it roughly in the right place. I won't weld it fully because it might want to move around a little bit. So I'll let it, I'll just leave tacks and if it wants to move, I can cut them. Yeah, and I'll make it bolt to the chassis because obviously four track, I mean, uh, you could bolt it to the body, but the main problem is, uh, yeah, in about about 10 years' time when the seals are rotten, the, the exhaust is just going to fall off. The, sit, the chassis, that's going to take years and years to rot, and even when it is rotten, it will still hold it. So, uh, I'm going to end up having to do that. But it's coming along nicely now. Whether or not I need a heat shield by that mud flap, I don't think I will. I think there's enough gap there, I don't think it's ever going to be an issue. And I know this heat shield works well, because in my pickup, on a previous video it does work well to keep the heat in like you could it could be red hot underneath you touch the outside barely any heat there whatsoever so yeah that's the next step anyway I'll probably just tack weld that exhaust and then start making the mounts up all right not welded quite yet 
but I have got under there the brackets bolted into the chassis using original holes, no drilling or anything, just made them fit with the original holes. All I've got to do now is, if it'll focus, I, well, I think the lens got a bit of dirt on it, but yeah, you can see now it will just weld on under there, and that should be enough just to support it. Uh, yeah, not really much more to do but to uh, weld it. Right, exhaust off, just so I'll quickly show you now. So yeah, it's just those two brackets hold it to the chassis. And then I'm hoping the uh, flexi joint at the front underneath there will, uh, hopefully that'll have enough flex in it, I won't get any vibrations anywhere. If not, we'll have to find a way of rubber mounting something, but I think it should be fine, because it, it should go through that flexi, but we will see. All I've got to do is weld that seam up there, uh, weld them on, maybe have to bend them so they are spot on, because I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that perforated pipe to warp a little bit. That's fine, and then uh, we'll have to do that on, oh, put the tip on, get that at the right angle and weld it on, and then take it off one last time once I know it fits, and paint those two bits of box section, and uh, yeah, call it good. There we, there we go. The exhaust is on, and I mean it is solid now. Ain't getting nowhere. Tip's just nice. Yeah, can't really moan at that. It's pretty much parallel with everything. I'll see if I can just uh, get a smoke test with it, so I can get the camera in a good position. There you go, I regret it now, and it is got a bit smoky, but anyway, there you go, it's done. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to say really. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna put the list. Yeah, I'll put the list of what you need. I'll put it now in case anyone decides they do want to make a stack. Um, yeah, not bad, not a bad job at all. No, it's just a nice job. It looks looks sweet now. I'll get a few pictures and call it a day. So, thank you very much for watching.